So it looks like they're putting on some addition to this courthouse with a lot of these um, pillars. Oh boy, I could use some of them. Mm. 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 Delicious views. All right, 8.30 p.m. I had some more potatoes. These, all, all the potatoes were thrown in my ferment pot. So there's that nice sour liquid that they were sitting in for the past few hours. And I gotta say, it's improved the taste. The sour liquid improves the taste. I put big chunks of potatoes in because I don't want it to quickly ferment. I mean, I could smash it all up, toss it in. That'd give a fast ferment, but I kind of like the creamy nature of the potatoes and and a hint of the sour from the liquid. It's like, this is better than sour cream because potatoes are like creamy naturally why add more cream with sour cream sour cream affects my heart so terribly all that fat is just awful but soaking the potatoes in this ferment is very similar to having a sour cream that's veg a vegetable sour cream a sour liquid and let the potato be the cream and you know you got vinegar people like vinegar potato chips well this is this is very similar the sourness vinegar is gone is just the distilled version of of the ferment which is not healthy there's someone in there homie all right i might be recording <laughs> this is this is risky, because I it's too dark. Alright, it looks like this whole block is just cut off. They just... nothing. It's abandoned. This whole block has been abandoned. You can clearly see the intentions here. They screwed a board over the door. Over the old Setchfield's house. And then behind, or uh, next to them, there's this abandoned house. It's clearly abandoned with broken windows. This whole building looks like it's uh, abandoned too. <clears throat> whole block. Alright, I went around the building to the behind. Looks like they had a, a nasty fire. <clears throat> Pretty nasty in the shed. How much is a visible? Some kind of a shed fire that happened a while ago. Gutted it all out. <clears throat> and then you could see the, the abandoned houses. Oh my. Looks like people could, have been getting in. Getting in. Oh no, maybe not. I was thinking they're getting in from behind, but that's just like a shed or something. I got a shit over there with stuff in it. Oh, the fire in this thing. I just realized it's entirely covered in metal. And the metal might have contained that fire pretty good. So this is more of the abandoned property. It's like, it's a, almost a whole block. Like a whole complete, not just down the road, it's like a squared off they just decided to let some houses fall apart this this one is fenced off pretty good but there's stuff they got a lot of interesting valuable stuff this one is not this abandoned house is not fenced off in any way people are breaking windows Oh, it's completely empty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this, this abandoned house, people are getting in 
getting in through this window and they got a lot of junk is this isn't this this is the one with the the two by four over the front door yeah so people are getting in through the window you know these these types of houses when they get abandoned it's just they get ransacked Ducks and chickens. Hey guys. <laughs> Being a drier climate, they can get away with using the wooden poles for longer periods. Municipal power, they got a sign. That's, that's the easiest way to see that. Something power, municipal. Pretty cool building over here. I kind of want to try to fly the drone over this. <laughs> wow. It's very active. Oh man. What are those pipes? I think it's a part of the electrical. in this neighborhood. That'd be cool to get a tour inside. See a lot of sea wire on the top of fence over there. So I'm thinking that's probably a correctional institute. They, uh, they could kind of stand out. Yeah, geez, so that's gonna restrict my flying here. I kind of want to look in the window of this. It's broken. But what's the property like? Doors open. I kind of want to take a look. I don't think anybody's going to stop me. It looks furnished still. I'll take a look inside. Hello? Yeah. They got this nice stove. I just wanted to get a look at the old style microwave. Cool. I don't think I'm gonna even try to fly the drone. I'm pretty darn sure that there's a correctional facility that's going to have uh, clearance over this whole city. Hey, um, excuse me, I'd like to confirm that you guys physically unplug the Wi Fi when the library's closed. Um, yeah. Okay, I just yeah. wanted to confirm that. I, yeah. That's what I suspected. I just, you know, you actually pull the plug and it's okay. unplugged. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Because we have homeless people that gather outside all okay. night long. Well, that's, yeah, every, that's, that's, a, that's a reasonable, they, they sat down and they decided that. That's, that's the reason why. Trouble and the neighbors have all complained, so they've had to pull. Neighbors. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many. Next door to Randy Lowe's, he's had his building broken into. Oh yeah, that's for sale, right? Yeah. So he gave he he sold because of the homeless people. You think? No. There's just so many buildings around that are are abandoned. Yeah. You know, you you don't think that's because of the homeless, do you? Yeah. Okay, maybe it's the prison that's uh, just when they release them, they maybe. they ransack the town. I just wanted to explain why we have to. Do okay, that. well I'm not changing my. No, you're not, not you're not you okay yeah okay thank you all right so this library kind of makes up for closing their for unplugging their wi-fi give some i didn't i didn't record where i got it but they give some uh 
they make peanut butter sandwiches I think every day and then serve coffee and I got a little milk and they have a fridge with just milk in it they serve that every day I believe it's a routine here Petrified wood building. Petrified wood building. Wow. I see some places I'd like to fly my drone. This, uh, yeah, there's a little, little inactivity. I don't know. It's, it's pretty busy. They got some neat, neat uh, points around here in Lamar. Parmenter. Okay, so this is downtown. It reminds me of downtown Rice Lake a lot. Very similar. In design. In one quarter mile, turn left on East Parmenter Street. Yep, turn left. 30. Hustlers. Parmenter. Okay. Yeah, I bet 
they got a vapor lounge in Rice Lake. Okay, so after Oak, I think I see it. I'm just gonna left it. Cultural Events Center, Municipal Court, Library, okay. Right on the corner, it's not too busy. Oh! I don't want to be there is no room I gotta go down oh there's ah jeez I don't know what's parking like on the side of the road it looks okay I can just probably do this <laughs> I'll just do this I'll get some shade Ooh. a little too aggressive okay yeah, I should be able to just do this. Okay. 